Throttle control was a whole lot simpler back in the day. Used to be you had a cable running straight from the pedal to the throttle body, and when you pressed down, that cable opened things up, letting more air into the engine. But now, it's all sensors, actuators, and computers running the show. When everything works right, it keeps your fuel economy and performance in top shape. But if a sensor or actuator fails, you might find yourself losing throttle response completely. That's why modern cars have an electronic throttle control system, packed with sensors to keep everything in check. And when something goes wrong, that warning light pops on to let you know there's trouble. Now seeing that light when you first turn the key is normal. It's just your car doing a systems check. But if it stays on after the engine's running, you've got a problem that needs fixing. The best way to figure out what's wrong is to hook up an OBD2 reader. It won't spell out the issue for you exactly, but it'll point you in the right direction. What causes an electronic throttle control light to come on? Now that light can come on for a few reasons. First, you might have a faulty throttle control sensor. Your ECM tells the throttle how much to open, but it doesn't just take its own word for it. It checks with the throttle control sensor to confirm. If the readings don't match up, you get the warning light. And here's the kicker. Some throttle bodies don't have replaceable sensors, which means you might need a whole new throttle body. Another possibility is a stuck throttle body. Even if the electronics are fine, if the throttle plate itself won't move, you won't get the response you need. Carbon buildup is a common culprit. Take a look. If it's sticking, try cleaning it with a good carb cleaner. If that doesn't fix it, replacement might be your only option. This sensor communicates with your vehicle's ECM to let it know how fast you want to go. From there, the ECM tells the throttle how much to open or close. But if the ECM can't get an accurate reading from the pedal due to a faulty sensor, you'll never get the acceleration you want. If the computer recognizes that something is wrong with the sensor, you'll get an electronic throttle control light. Now, how much will it cost you to fix? That depends. If it's just a dirty throttle body, a few bucks for cleaner might do the trick. But if you're looking at a full throttle body or sensor replacement, you could be spending anywhere from $100 to $800. Throttle problems aren't something to ignore. If that light's on and your car isn't responding right, you better get to diagnosing it sooner rather than later.